when Mitt Romney announced that he planned to retire from U.S. Senate on September 13, 2023. The Atlantic published an excerpt from his upcoming biography, where 2012 Republican presidential candidate told author Mackay Coppins a huge chunk of my party really doesn't do that. This claim would have been surprising 15 years ago. For decades, Republican Party has been party of conservatism and defender of constitution. Romney is clear that Donald Trump, who leads what he calls the populist and demagogic segment of the party, is to blame. And Romney isn't the only Republican worried. Former Vice President Mike Pence who is currently running for GOP presidential nomination, recently asked Crowd at a campaign event, are we going be party of conservatism? Or are we going to follow siren song of populism without adhering conservative principles? What are the conservative principles Romney and Pence are talking about? So what has happened to them since the rise of Trump? As a political scientist, I have spent the last five years researching ideological identity and Trump's impact on conservatism and the Republican Party. Defining conservatism is complicated. It has taken many forms throughout U.S. history. He rediscovers himself over time. But President Ronald Reagan summarized the central principle in his 1989 farewell address to the nation there is a clear cause and effect here. As clear and predictable as a law of physics as government expands. Freedom shrinks. Here I focus on features of a coherent belief system called principled conservatism, which emphasizes freedom and the status quo. Here is a brief inventory of these ideals and how they have been violated in recent years. This is not an exhaustive list, but it reflects much of Reagan's brand of conservatism, which until recently was the touchstone for most Republican presidential candidates. Constitution and limited government protect freedom outspoken conservatives often emphasize importance of the Constitution, which establishes laws to protect freedom of citizens. First, Constitution laid the foundation for federalism, a system in which local governments have some level of authority to ensure that national government does not have absolute control. This is where the conservative phrase, states' rights, comes from. Second, the Constitution established checks and balances among the three branches of government to prevent anyone from abusing power. These measures against tyranny are the beating heart of conservative thought. But when Trump, backed by 126 Republican lawmakers in Congress, tried to overturn the election results key states in 2020, it was viewed by conservative advocates and a handful of Republican lawmakers as a violation states. Rights. Only 17 Republicans voted to impeach or convict Trump for his role in Jan. 6. 2021. Insurrection. Giving the appearance that abuse of power could go unchecked at federal level. State intervention should be limited because principled cons.